Welcome to day 4 of Robotics for All LEGO Robotics Curriculum. Today we will cover what are touch sensors and IR sensors and how to use weight blocks. In general, sensors allow the robot to adapt to its surrounding using signals for heat, distancing, color, and more. Similar to a human stripped of the five main senses, the robot would be unable to get a bearing on its surroundings without sensors. The two sensors covered in today's lesson are touch sensors and IR sensors. The touch sensor used in class has a physical button that can be pressed in order to trigger a response. There are three functions of it, for when it is pressed, when it is released, and when the button is tapped. We will be exploring all three of these functions today in class. However, to put it more simply, a touch sensor is a mechanism that records the number of times it is touched. Take a second to think and pause the video if necessary. What are some common applications of a touch sensor? Some common applications of a touch sensor are remote controls, like switches, phones, and more. Next, we move on to IR sensors. IR sensors, also known as infrared sensors, allow the bot to get a sense of proximity, or how far away it is from another object. Combined with a weight block, the robot can perform certain actions when a certain distance away from something. Pause the video again and think about what other common applications an IR sensor can have. Some common applications an IR sensor can have are security alarms, automatic lighting, automatic doors, and soaring devices. Next is the introduction to a weight block. For this particular lesson, it is easier to show on the EV3 program. First, we want to start a new program. Then after the Start Program button, under the green tab, we want to place a Move Tank block. Set the Move Tank block from On to Rotations to On for Seconds, and change the number seconds, which is the third option, to at least 5 seconds. Afterwards, place a weight block, which is under the orange tab, after the move tank block. While there are many different functions the weight block can have, the three that we will be focusing on today are time, touch sensor, and infrared sensor. For this first activity, we want to press time. Change the number of seconds to 5. After this, place another move tank block after the weight block, which is again under the green tab. Change it from on to rotations to on for seconds, and set it to at least 10 seconds. Save and compile the program and run it on the bot. And while you are running this program, consider what was the purpose of placing the weight block. And that completes this video lesson. Thank you so much.